Hello guys, so I've decided to use these lights and test them in more of a studio situation. First of all, I've attempted to make a time-lapse video and for this I've actually used my daughter's nursery when she's been away for a few days. I've made the room as dark as possible and set the studio lights up like so. So I've used the two LEDs um, a reasonable distance away uh, with the softbox. I say I've left the lights on for two days straight and as we can see from the time-lapse image there's no flickering in the lights, they're very consistent and although a bit of light did get in the room through the window the lights themselves were kept constant and also they stay to a reasonable temperature. Now I'm not going to promote you leaving these on all the time but I was quite happy to leave the room and uh, let these lights just work as they do. Now the time lapse itself I said was actually about two and a half days in the end. Now ideally I would have had uh, probably two weeks to do this but I needed my camera so um, it's a very short time lapse I'm afraid. But this will give you an idea of what you can achieve with the lights. So the camera setting, so um, it was a low ISO but I was shooting about a 50th of a second and obviously I was using a tripod so this wasn't a problem. And I shot at aperture at f8. So for this project where the subject was still, these lights were absolutely perfect. The lights didn't get too hot, I managed to get sharp pictures with a consistent light source over a long period of time. Now I also used these lights to do a bird of prey shoot. In a fairly dark room there were still some small natural light sources getting in, but nothing too major. I found that when the birds were sitting still, it was nice and easy to capture a sharp picture. However, when I started using a long lens and I wanted to shoot at faster shutter speed such as uh, 250th to uh, 320th of a second. The amount of light I could get did start to become a problem. I had to shoot a, a wide aperture settings of around uh, f2 to f4.6 and also I had to push my ISO up uh, to around 800 to 1000 ISO. At one point I did decide to take off part of the softbox so I just had the LED lights to get a more intense light straight onto the subject. So overall for the Birds of Prey, they did the job I needed and I was very happy with the results. However, if I wanted to catch birds in flight or get them whilst they were moving, I would have been better off using a fast studio flashlight. Having said that, the flashlight can startle the birds, so I like the consistency of the LED lights for this job. I was pushing these lights to the limits and I also had to push my camera to the limits as well. So I'd only recommend these lights for taking pictures of live subjects if they even move very slowly or if you've got a camera that can compensate with ISO and a lens that can compensate with the aperture. I must say though, I'm still very happy with these lights. I'm very happy with the pictures I got from the studio shoot. Having said that, I will look to see if I can find some more powerful LED lights that can push the limits a bit more. But after all, it is down to you and what you're after and uh, what will suit your needs. So I hope you found this video helpful in that respect and I hope to see you in the next one.